What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Jonathan the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, Angie did her Angie shenanigans and was just freaking deciding to brainwash everybody with her at two of bullshoop. Um, yeah, frick Angie. Um, you don't take Gonta. At least you haven't taken Kaido, and it's okay, but like, and you haven't taken Kyo. So, like, at least you haven't taken, like, some of these people that I actually really love. But, Angie, let's not. Let's actually, like, not decide to be crazy. But I guess you are Angie and you are going to be crazy. But in today's episode, we have some free time. That's what we're doing right now. Um, our first free time is going to be with way too many. Hi, Kibo. <laughs> Atua is just in there. He allowed me, a robot, to join the student council. Should I hang out with Kibo? Yes, even though he's taking over by Atua. No one else cared about, or cared that I was being treated like junk. I listened to Kibo give quite this sermon about Atua. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kibo a present? Sure. This is about to be, he's about to either take this as robophobic, or... He's going to say, uh, let's give him the fashion magazine for robots. He's this is either going to be robophobic or he's going to love it. Thank you very much. This is quite a practical gift. Thank Listen you. Closely. Please don't get the wrong impression. I'm happy because this gift is so practical. Under different circumstances, this gift could be considered an act of robophobia. Exactly. Okay. See? Okay. He understands why I'm giving it to him. And... I totally understand. I When I gave it to you, I 100% was like, this could be taken this way, and I hope it's not. Love you, Kibo. Oh. Wait. He didn't go up, though. Ah! Anyway, this game is so picky about that. I, I love it, though, but it is picky about that. There's still time within the day. Um, great. Yeah, that is, I think that is the one thing about V3 that... I would tweak a little bit is how picky the characters are with their rank ups because at, th at that point it's like you're not gonna get ever get their rank ups so it's like what's like without especially in a blind playthrough where you're not allowed to look at the guide you just can't get their rank ups if you could get their rank ups without looking or with like looking at the guide if I was allowing myself to do that it would be a whole different story obviously but okay where's the other girl I want to talk to Actually, I think that is her sprite. I think. That looks like it is her sprite. If I'm not... If I'm if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, I was not incorrect. Maki is the other one I want to spend my free time with. I know I'm messing... Or messing... Missing opportunities with, uh... With, uh... Kaido, but... If people see you talking to me, they'll think they'll mistake you as a friend of an assassin. Should I hang out with Maki? Of course. I don't care if you if people see me as a friend of an assassin. And you're still fine with that? If you're putting up a front, then you'll get hurt later. No, we're fine, Maki. I trust you. I spent time with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, Maki was also one of the people that were actually coming out for my uh, <laughs> Love Hotel event. Would you like to give Maki a present? Definitely. So Maki is the harder one. Maki's the one that I wanted to give the hard case. But she doesn't wear glasses. So we'll give her the, the three hit KO sandbag. I don't know. She might not like this though. Hmm. hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents like in a situation like this. Whoop. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Um... Hey, Maki. Yes! Oh, my God! Yes! 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 We Maki actually liked the present. Woo! Okay. We can actually learn about Maki. I'm actually excited. Sorry. I'm going to turn my voice down because, holy heck, I am a peeking. That's why I think I said point, or uh, to put it on, on eight, negative eight, when I did my thing. Um, but I was at, like, point two. But that's fine. Hey, Maki. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Game, what button am I hitting? Hey Maki, you're an assassin, correct? 
I already said it several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Well, that is part of my job anyway. I was wondering how you did your work. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. Wouldn't assassination organizations disband after they've become known? You're right. That is true. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No. In fact, this is the first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Of course. A normal person would have no affiliation of any or to any yeah. cults. A cult. What does this have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's the assassination organization that I belong huh? to. You belong to a cult? A detective. Even though you're a detective. You're pretty slow. It's a new cult. From behind the scenes. It trains assassins. But... That sounds made up. Sure. It's whatever. real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The real clients ask for, or the clients ask for consultation, and then the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there to the, or for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country. Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so that things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well, well yes. It does give off that impression. Well, Being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demand or demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she just accepted the way that things are. Then... Then I assume you're a devotee to in this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait, can't you figure it out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true. I suppose she couldn't well... be. There are several assassinations or assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... So you don't share that kind of information with each other? Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She just accepted it. What I did say... To, what did I say to put her in that state of mind? I am so happy we actually got... Okay, so... We had... How many of those? I think we had two of those. So we have one more of it. That we can use on Maki. That's perfect. So Kibo didn't necessarily mind his, but didn't like it either. Maki actually liked hers. I'm still a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories. I return to my room. I am okay with that. Maki plus one. That's successful free time. Ding dong, bing bong. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, hi, Monofi. Oh, Monotaro was out cold from being punched by Monodama as punishment. Oh, well... We'll be taking a break from making announcements. Mm -hmm. While Modern Mom and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. Oh, God. Just dot the dots. Okay. You go do that. The announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it is nighttime. Time to train, but is Kaido okay? Yeah, Kaido did leave us kind of in the dust last episode. I remember that. He was kind of like just being uh very... um flighty in a way which of course typical boyfriend does that obviously just doesn't like you literally want to comfort them and then they don't want the comfort you're just like what do i do how do i take care of it that's literally like my thought process like how can i help you if you don't want to be helped that's like literally the big thing and now the doorbell won't stop ringing so i suppose he's doing just fine so from my episodes or from the episode that i did there's a little bit of things but with the doorbell was still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened uh, and opened it to find. It's Mucky! Okay, we didn't know because we, uh, I was trying to cover my eyes so hard to avert, like, most of the scenes, but I did see Maki was part of this. Huh? Huh? Maki? <sighs> Kaido's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us. Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys then flake out. But... Well, he did mention he wasn't feeling well. Weirdo. Are you making excuses for him? You're right. Uh, no. I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just go get this together over with. 
I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really going to do this training? The two of us? See, that part I didn't know. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, we're just silent. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, Maki, what are you about to say? What is it? Oh, see, I don't know this. I, I, as soon as I heard the Maki thing, like, I didn't hear anything from this cutscene. So, this is what I, I literally took my headphones off when I was doing the episode and set them down so I couldn't know. Oh, this is good. Okay. Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Good question. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Yeah, Kaito's good at that. Do you look up to that idiot? I mean, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. I mean, he does in a literal sense. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that. I haven't looked at their heights. <laughs> it's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. <laughs> so true! Oh my god. So Shuichi is spitting facts, though. Like, this dude is so relaxed and, like, totally, like, down to do whatever. And he just does things. And it's just like, Kaido, what are you doing? Because I'm not that way. So I completely <laughs> or, uh, empathize with that. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. <laughs> Maki sprang up and said. Hey. 100. I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her or brushed off her hands. Here really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Huh? What? <sighs> about Kaido. I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. After what I have been through, Am I even still human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Ooh. Because. But I had no choice to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But. Uh, but I'm kind of the same way. Well. I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money. It's the worst. Okay. But now, I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, then I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaido that have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. I mean, Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki. Ah, see you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and just kept walking. All right, All right then. Still were a little worried about Kaido. He seemed off since this morning. I hope that's this is nothing serious. And this. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Welcome back, Maki. So you finally came. Oh, Angie. Oh, God. Angie and the cast. Jeez. That's that's honestly, I, I don't care that they're the council. They're just Angie and the cast at this point. Angie and the cast. It's not Angie and her council. Angie and the cast. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... But Kurumi's crime happened during the night time, right? Mm. If no one is allowed to walk around at night time, that case would not have happened. Indeed. That is why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activities. Well. Limit? So you're basically, you want to take our freedom away. Is that it? My, my. <laughs> you're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Uh. Um, we need to remove all the worry and doubt so everyone can make it, have a peaceful life here. Atua. 
Because that's what a Tua says. How divine. And that's what a Tua says. Yeah. A Tua says. Yeah. People are afraid of you, Maki, so we'd prefer if it, you were more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the Academy. Oh, God, no. Uh, ah, I can't stand Angie's shenanigans. I mean, I get it. I get what they're saying. Like that, because, the, the, but and, and like every cast has gone through that moment where it's like, I don't really want people to be out at nighttime. Blah, 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 blah. Like every cast has gone through that moment. But it's the way Angie's going about it that makes me mad. What is the point of human life? They're born as useless babies who can't do anything. And 70 years later, they're useless. Old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it is all so meaningless. Damn. Terminator vibes. Terminator vibes. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Just the game crashes don't help anything, but it's fine. What? It's morning already. Last night with Keo, was it a dream? I still feel kind of sore. Honestly, okay, so our love hotel this time was Keo. But, and you saw Keo's love hotel. <laughs> it's out there. That's enough. So that was the morning announcement, isn't it? It was a little creepy. I don't like that at all. Wow. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. Yep, time to go to the dining hall. Boom. Let's see, who's in it? Oh, oh, um... We got Kokichi. We'll talk to Kokichi. Shuichi. Good morning, Shuichi. Okay. Good morning. Hey. Are you heading to the dining hall? <laughs> Same here. I'm too hungry to do anything. But now I'm sad. With Kurumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. <laughs> Whoa. I give everything to taste mom's miso soup again. No. Uh, Kurumi's not your mother, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. You think I don't know that? Right. Well, see you later. Mm. Bye, buddy. We're going to the dining hall. It's gonna be good. Anyway, I just need to talk, at least, because here's my thing. Kokichi is moving up in the John tier list. Hi, Maki. Speaking of a character that's moving up in the John tier list. Maki! Maki. Good morning, Maki. Hey, hey are you okay? Huh? Okay, what do you mean? Nope. If you don't know, then don't worry about no. it. Well. If you say it like that, it makes me worried. Mm. I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. Oh! We... Shuichi wasn't there? Okay. Good. Good pieces of information I missed. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime anymore. Huh? Well, what? Why? It's not breaking any rules, is it? They said it's because Kurumi committed her crime during the nighttime. <sighs> and then Angie gave her usual Atua says speech. Ugh. Atua. Well, we shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but soon enough. What's the point? Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. You're not wrong, and I freaking don't blame you. That's true. We should do something about this. With the student council running things, it's like a rift might form in the group. And then we'll be in a situation we can't get back, go back from. And resurrecting the dead is going to be a problem as well. Yeah, those are two major problems. Here's the thing. Because they're going to want to resurrect the dead. The practical people are like, what the hell are you talking about, you dumbass motherfrickers? It's so dumb for you guys to do what you're doing. And it's like, I just, honestly, the student council is so stupid. They do the dumbest things, and they think that that's a good idea. And you're just like, student council, no. Hi, Mew. You're one of the practical kids. Mew. Good morning, Mew. What the hell is this morning chatter about? I'm fucking tired. Did you stay up all night with the computer? Because <laughs> that thing's amazing. It's the more I research it, the more excited I get. Oh, I bet it won't let me sleep tonight. At this rate, I might even pull my groin muscles. <laughs> oh, girl. Mew, what happened to you? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Don't even, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, Shuichi. That's a firm question you should be living, or a firm, uh, firm sentiment you should be living with. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. 
Don't screw around. Quit messing around. Don't just do whatever you want. Huh? Hmm? But I have a Tua's blessing. That's right. Yeah, we have a Tua's blessing, and I'll throw you into any degenerates who won't shut up about it. I know you claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we've said before, this is all has to end the killing game. And keep the peace. What? What's going on? What's going on is we shouldn't care about Angie at all, but okay. We'll talk to Angie first, though, because again, I don't care about her. Why is everyone so upset? I've already been granted permission by Atua. It's because you've gotten granted by commission by your fucking scapegoat, you skank. Um, Kaido, what's wrong with you? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole. Hmm. Got to put heavy rock on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. My magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Ganta handle it this time. Um, why, why would you do that? Because yes. the manhole is a reminder of a desire to, uh, to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen inside, like what happened to, to Kaede. Listen up. You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about the underground tunnel and start fresh. Damn it! She does just whatever she wants without even asking our opinion! Certainly. Certainly it is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right. So you basically want to be a dictator, which is, again, not the point of the council! That is what we decided to obey. The student uh, we That's why we decided to uh, obey the student council president. You literally are letting Angie be a dictator! What are you guys doing?! Literally, though, like, this, they are all dictate, like, literally letting Angie be the dictator of everything. And the problem is, is they have the central power, right? Because they've got Ganta, which, again, like, the, the characters they have on their side, especially Ganta and Tenko, are big characters. That And she probably secured those characters last. I mean, we know she secured Ganta last. She, Angie knows what she's doing, and that's the big thing. That's the huge thing that we that the practical people know, right? And that's why I need Kokichi to step up. Come on, Kokichi. I need you right now. I need you on our side. You are on our side right now. I need you right now, buddy. I like again, if I if you come save the day, you move up to the ranking, okay? I don't even care if you commit a murder at this point to save the day. Honestly, Kokichi, if you commit a murder to save the day, I will forgive you. And that is something crazy. But I can't stand Angie and her cult that much. Moving forward. If that is what Angie wants, then she'll make it right. The right decision. And she can hear Atua after all. Aww. Man, she's lost a cause. Plain Jane's like her are totally rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you. Samugi, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Oh, God! Uh, thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Was Samugi not brainwashed yet? Wait a minute, what? When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Was Samugi just on her side? Girl. Atua exists beyond time itself. Girl. You will feel his presence very soon. Girl, you did not just fucking join Angie just to join Angie. Oh, you dummy! That now you're getting brainwashed, but I can't believe that Samugi. Precious. Samugi, you were literally dumb. Oh, oh, that hurts. We could have actually, we could have done something for Samugi, and now we can't. Now it's over. So cool. Atua is just so cool. Hmm. Colts like this can really be annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but, but. but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? 
The truth is, is it because you guys want to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? You, you haven't given up? Uh -huh. You haven't given up? Uh -huh. What the hell is wrong with you guys? The student council cannot ignore that, and it seems you must tighten our. We might tighten our control. Uh, tighten? Are you calling me loose? Reminds me. Well, you were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Mew? What? So, what if I was? By the way. So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey. Shuichi, you too, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Jeez, huh? uh, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Uh, Atua is right. We must forbid everyone from the student, or but the student council from what? That is literally dictatorship. That is like Marky dictatorship. I will forbid everyone but uh, who's on my side from walking around at nighttime. Angie, you... Ugh, I hate how smart you are, but it's so smart for you to do this. Huh? What? Stop it! Well, what? What do I... And where do I... Or what I do and where I do it is none of your fucking business. No? Nope. As long as everyone still wants to leave, this is unacceptable. Hello. Uh, why is the student council exempt from your rules? That's blatantly unfair, yes. Uh... <laughs> I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. Mm. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a tua. <laughs> what else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Hmm. Don't be around. stupid. Are you telling me just to stay here and do nothing? That's like hell I will. I have not even gotten to space yet. Oh, motto cups. <laughs> are you all fighting? Yes, we are, Wanted Om. Kill Angie, please. Um. I don't think so. I think they're, maybe they're not actually fighting? That's right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now. Bastards. We want you to get even closer with each other. So we brought this. Oh, oh they brought a flashback light. Uh-oh. It's, it's part of our use the flashback light to restore your memory and become better friends by talking with each other plan. What? Wow, I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember the plan that long. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see that. Ah, uh, is she gonna break it? Is she gonna? Is she about to break this thing? She's so about to break this thing. Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashlight, like or the flashback light from his hands, and she fucking broke it. I knew it. Oh my god, Angie, you fu- Angie. Oh my god! You are a super villain! You are villain 101! Oh my god, Angie! She threw it on the ground and stopped on it relentlessly. Wow! Decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. Angie. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. And you don't want that because you want your cool and your little Atua bullshit. Yes, Atua's the greatest. Atua's the best. And we all need to live by Atua's rules and standards because if Atua's rules and standards are the ones, it's the best. Oh my god. But we don't need those memories anymore. Because we have Atua. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here at the Ultimate Academy. Wow. If we don't use the flashback light, then our plan's a bust! What are we gonna do, Monodom? Ah. He, he, he ran away. Mm. Hey, Monodom, wait! So long. I mean, here's the, one, here's the one thing I will get Angie. Is her intention <laughs> is incorrect? 
I don't like her intention, but her thought process is. Like, I will at least be nice and cognizant of that, right? Because she's right in the sense that the more information we gain, the more likely death is to occur. And that I understand. That logically makes sense. However, the fact that she's doing it just to turn everybody into an occult is the problem. Bayonara! Wait! Angie, what are you doing? We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. That's not right. There's no reason to remember all of that. We're not returning to the outside what? world. Yeah, it's pointless now. Why, you? You've gone too far! Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far! Sorry. But you should have taken that up with Atua. Oh, Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So do you have a plan for the you-know-what? Ah. Oh, you mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, uh, we have a plan for that. What? what? I knew it. What? What are you planning? Because... It's just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more filling our lives will be. Exactly. You want to fucking resurrect. I knew that's where your mind was at. I, I know, like, where Angie's mind is at. And I, that's what, I think that's what scares me about this whole situation. Is I can read Angie like a book right now. And that's scary. Huh? Unnecessary precaution? Uh... Um, well, if an... If we got another time limit motive, like the one that got Rantaro killed, oh, yeah. shouldn't we just sacrifice or have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone to be resurrected? What is it? You're just going to re re resurrect somebody just to kill them all over again? Yep, that's exact. Uh, yep, that makes sense. I, that's where it, that makes total sense for Angie. If she if she needs somebody to kill. It's at least not one of the group, and that will make everybody feel better. And because it makes everybody feel better, oh. <laughs> oh, you have some cool rule plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh... Life cannot always be fun and smiles. Atua make must make difficult and even cruel decisions. But but we must submit to Atua's will if we're gonna live peacefully in this school life. Yes. Atua will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, it's just like Atua says. What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that that thing's motive is the motive for the killing game? Kaido, what is going on with you? You are looking worse and worse. Yeah, yeah. The motive is of no concern to us, as long as you can cast aside your desire to escape. Yeah, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? It's actually a smart question. Let him cook. Let him cook. Uh... After us discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student will we, we will revive is Rantaro Amame. Huh? Rantaro. Because... We will simply not resurrect convicted murderers such as Kayede and Karumi, nor a criminal like Ryoma, who has violated the rule against sharing one's motive video, which leaves only Rantaro as the only one who could be of use to the student council. True. Rantar was the only one that knew about the ultimate hunt. They're going to bring him back? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? No, no. This is impossible. It's not going to happen. He's dead. Kaede killed him. Oh my, it's getting so late. I need to go now. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for this ritual. You're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Oh. Well then, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Anara. Oh. That's half, and like I said, it's hard because half the cast is literally brainwashed right now. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out Atua's will. But this is her will, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yes! Thank you, Maki. Thank you, Maki. Thank you, Maki. Even so, we cannot defy her right now. The extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey. Then it's an all-out war against the Sudunin's Council. 6v6. We can win this. Yes, we can. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. Oh, no. We have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. 
By the way. Oh, about you, Kaido. You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? huh? Did you say something? Uh oh! Someone was zoning out! Kaido, something isn't right. Um, Kaido, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Hmm? Oh, it's it's nothing. I just feel chill and it's all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? <sighs> anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not possible. Uh, Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. Huh? My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. I'm gonna go back to my room. Kaido left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. What is it? What's going on about? What's that about? Or what was that about? Is he getting sick? Mm. Oh, we were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Hmm. You seem to be enjoying this. Yeah, it's it's Kokichi. Why we don't expect anything less. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. Are we gonna get free time or no free time? Probably free time. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same as Kaede's: get out of here with everyone, and that means I need to do something. Some free time. So the next episode, we start with some free time. We hang out. We have some fun. We do our thing. And uh, honestly, we need to have a, make good use of this free time. Um, because we know now, basically, that half the cast is blocked. So at least that gives us, like, less options. And I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys again so much for watching this episode. We will see you guys uh, in the next episode where we do the free time and do some more events. See you guys then.